So this is the marker we are going to be using for this project. It is marker 6 millimeters. That is what we are going to be using as our insole. So I'm using my raw file now to mark out the shape of the insole. So after marking out the shape, we call them into shape. So after cutting the insoles into shape, we are going to sand the edges of the insoles so that we have a very smooth edges. You can use your sandpaper to do that. And after doing that, we fold the insole. After folding the insoles, cut off the crease at the back of the insoles. So this is the Nora we are going to be using as our main sole. It is Nora 4mm. Nora 4mm. So place the insole on the Nora and then mark out the shape of the insole on the Nora. And after that, we are going to apply gum along the marked areas. After that, replace the insole at the marked area. Already we have applied gum on our welt also. Now we are going to pin the insole to the Nora with two nails, one at the back and one at the front so that the insole will not move while we are welting. Then make sure the tip of your welt is in shape and then we start our welting. So watch closely to see where I am starting the welting from. It is very important. The position where you start welding from is very important so take note of that so we're going to do that gradually till we get to the other edge of the weld So once we have gotten to the other tip of the weld, we are going to remove the insole and then carefully cut slightly after the first tip of the weld. And then we are going to bend the Nora this way and then align it with the other edge. With that, you are going to have a tight joint. So we are done with the welding and then we cut off the excess Nora. Now we are going to attach our heels. After attaching the heels, we cut off the excess. Now over to the pattern, we are going to measure a width of 6 inch 
into two places. The length is going to be 11 inch or 12 inch so that you don't have shortage while lasting. So you make the length 11 or 12 inch. So but the width is going to be 6 inch and that is what we are going to be measuring into two places. So after that we cut them into shape and then apply our gum because we are going to fold the leather. So we are going to cut another strap. The length is going to be 15 inch and the width is going to be 1 inch. So the length 15 inch, 15 inch that's going to be the length and the width is going to be 1 inch. So we are going to cut the strap into two places and we are also going to apply our gum because we are going to fold it too. So we are going to fold the two edge of the leather towards the center of the leather. So the two edge we are going to fold it towards each other to the center of the leather and with that we are having our first pattern or the first part of the pattern which is the main pattern. So this is what it looks like after the folding. So let's proceed. So we move over to the next strap and we do the same folding strategy to the both of them. We fold the two edge towards each other to the center of the leather. So this is what we have arrived at, you see it, so let's proceed. So now fold this into two equal parts, locate the center, watch closely to see what I'm going to be doing, then fold it this way downwards, fold it this way, make sure it is corresponding at this point here, you see it, the two edge here, make sure they are corresponding. You see it so now you are going to fold the two parts upwards again so you fold this one upwards and then come to this side to fold it upwards and hold it tightly you see it these two parts fold it upwards and then hold it tightly then bring your strap fold your strap into two equal parts Make sure the joint is inside. Fold it into two equal parts. Then place it this way. Then hold this one. You see what I'm doing? Pass it through here. Then you draw it. Make sure you set it and draw it to be very tight. So after setting it, we install our pipe. This is our tow guard. So now I'm going to install the tow guard. So and with that, uh, we are done with the pattern so let's go again so that we understand what we did there properly 
so fold it into two equal parts locate the center and then fold it downwards make sure these two edges correspond make sure they are equal then fold this one upwards make sure you are holding it at the center there then fold this one upwards again hold it tightly and then pick your strap fold your strap into two equal parts remember this line is going to be inside so fold it in, into two equal parts hold it this way pull this one then pass this to this place and then you pull very simple so pull it very tight and then you install your tool guard make sure you set it properly make sure you set it very properly where it's supposed to face before you install your tool guard so that is what i'm trying to do i'm done doing that so let's fix the guard So with that, the patterns are ready for coupling. You see them? Let's proceed. Now I have filed or smoothed the edge of my soles. And then I'm going to place the insole into the sole. And I'm going to place my last on the insole. Place my last on the insole. Then I'm going to mark from the lines on the last I'm going to mark on the insole make sure it is at the tip here make sure the last is at the tip of the insole then I'm going to mark this line you see this line this one running through to the other side of the last that is the one I'm going to mark here on the insole and then I'm going to measure from that mark from here to somewhere here 1.1 inch I'm going to include the weld in the measurement so i measure 1.1 inch here is it 1.1 inch that is where we're going to punch for our tool strap so i'm going to punch now so after punching the other one place it on the other side of the foot and then mark the same point and then you punch again but the next thing is to last the pattern So we are done with the last thing. The next thing is to couple the footwear. So we are going to use the same raw file we used for our insole to mark out from the leather we are going to use for our floor lining. So after marking it out, you see it, we are going to reduce the size by at least 0.3 inch. We are going to reduce the original size by at least 0.3 inch. And then I'm going to measure from the front, from the tip of the front, two and a half inch. And from that point, I'm going to draw a line that is where it is going to stop at and then the next thing is to cut it into shape so you can see what we have here you see it let's cut it into shape so this is what we have now we are going to use this to mark out for the other side of the foot face here you see 
here is going to face the leather so that you have the other side you see how i placed it so now we're going to mark out for the other side of the foot So after preparing the floor lining, apply your gum on the floor and also on the leather and then you install them. So this is what we have arrived at. If you have any question, feel free to drop them in the comment section. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get updated because more videos are still coming on the way. So it is a very simple pattern. Follow the process. And also if you want to know how I got this, the video is going to pop up on your screen right now just click on it to watch how to get different shapes of your soles by yourself so have a nice day and see you in my next video